make sure the spill tray is placed on level ground and clear any rocks or debris from underneath. Do not overload the spill tray. The most frequently used spill trays have a capacity for 94 liters. However, a good practice is to have a capacity for 100% of the volume plus 25% additional volume. SMJV aims for a total aggregate volume of 75 liters. Another good practice is to place absorbent pads under the fuel containers to catch drips. Watch for leaks and any hydrocarbon accumulation in the tray, especially after extended use. It may be necessary to switch out with another tray, or at least clean up the tray. A release of contaminated water from an overflowing spill tray would be classified as an environmental incident. Pop-up secondary containment. Spot the containment on level ground and clear away any rocks or debris that could puncture the liner. Lay out the containment and install the L brackets around three sides. Using a spotter, park the light plant or pump inside the containment. Make sure the containment doesn't get caught up or pinched in the equipment chassis. Install the remaining L brackets and level the equipment with the onboard jack stands. Deploy a fire extinguisher for each containment equipment combination. Complete a final walk around of the containment to make sure the walls are standing straight. Inspect the containment daily, looking for leaks and damaged or bent L brackets, and do not let water or hydrocarbons accumulate. Remember, a release of contaminated water is an environmental incident.